I'm Gail and this is my story. I was raised in a home where we had regular church attendance, memorized prayer and catechism. I can't remember a time that I didn't believe that there was a God and that Jesus was his son and that he died for my sin. The sad thing was I still felt like going to heaven depended on my actions and my good works. Each night I can remember telling God that I would be better the next day. When I was a young 16 year old girl, I met my husband, Mark. I attended church with him and I was hearing how I could be assured of heaven. We were married right out of high school and as a young 20 year old mother, I received Christ as my savior. But I was still confused with the thought that I still had to be good enough to have salvation. As the years went by, I learned a lot about God and Jesus. I read the Bible a lot, but I still didn't quite have that assurance because I just didn't understand about God's forgiveness and his grace. We started attending a church where I finally learned these things and I started experiencing joy in my life and learning how to walk with him. Fast forward 20 years. I was in my early 40s. I was experiencing low self-esteem, condemnation, and loneliness. And I was drawn away from the close walk with God into a world of party and constant alcohol. I felt so much guilt, but I couldn't seem to walk away from it. I was using it as a crutch for temporary happiness. But then Christ continued to call after me and gently tug at my heart to come back to him. I thought surely he wouldn't want me back after so many years of that kind of life. Through a series of events in my life that I can now look and know that he was there all the time, I knew it was time to return to that close walk with him. And guess what? He was right there with open arms and gently saying, I've been waiting. I never stopped loving you. I want what's best for you. Since that time, I have grown closer and closer to him. I still had many hard times as I started giving him my hurts and pains from a life of childhood sexual abuse. As I've been able to give these things to him and with the help of many wonderful mature Christian women, I have moved on and have left those hurts behind. I still get attacks of insecurity, even now in my mid-sixties, but he's right there to take it. He takes it from me and reassures me of my value and worth as his child. I have been blessed to be able to use the gifts that he placed in me. In me. Here at ACC, I, had a wonder, I was gently encouraged by a wonderful pastor and some beautiful women. I was able to lead life groups for several years and be involved in ministry to women. That is the desire in my heart to be used in women's lives for as many days as he has planned for me. And that's my story.